Yep. Is this uh um, Wow. Hi friend. Forty three? Two? Are okay, we on 43. We, we really need to start keeping count. Like, can, can you you fucking me? keep count. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. let me know which number it is then. 43. All right, thank you. I'll keep count from I'm here. I'm going with 43 confidently. Bet. I wrote the notes and I'm going to keep count of this. I'm going to check, actually. Hold on. <laughs> Kirby's going to also keep count. This is so Kirby bad back. to do live, bro. It's like I haven't been doing this for years. It's cool. Come on now. I swear to God. Get we, shit together. Uh, we have what a live studio fuck? audience and I swear to God, we are professionals. Re- reporting live from the middle of. Because we're not in East Province anymore. Province. Thank God we're not. There's no way we're on. What's going on with Roman over here? He's he's, again, he's fuck big dog. The big dog. Fuck he that fucking guy. sucks. He yes, he air. does. It's full of hot air. air guy. Bitch. Why did they put him in? Why did they put him? This is good. This is fine. This is all like uh, yeah. This is yeah, you know, this is, Why did they put him in 2K? The big dog. Yeah. Because I mean, <laughs> they put every single version of every fucking. Why did they ever. put him in 2K though? Like he you, was. Cheeks. You want to know yeah. something? In 2K20, when he was on the cover with Becky and shit, I feel like he was the reason why that game sucked ass. Like the whole reason. He could have. Because that, that 2K20 really just set them back so bad. Uh, yeah, I think the last good one before that was 42. My bad. 42. I, l- Scotty, listen. I rely on you, Scotty. Oh, so we're know. in 40. So this is 42. 43. No, this is 42. This is 42. Now you're fucking me up. Ah. It's 42. Well, but why is he in the game? I'm not a developer. I don't and know I this shit. And I spoiled something for myself, and it got me a little rock solid. Yeah. Oh, no. He's about the... The 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 not... How do you break this down? The not antichrist Shawn Michaels is in the game. The not antichrist? When he came out with the whole, like, Christian oh, get up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When, when he, he went up Scott. against The Undertaker yeah. at WrestleMania 25. Oh, he came out in the white get up? Oh, yeah. man. Did, Did you go, how, how far are you guys with the showcase, by the way? Oh, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. What the fuck is going I, on? I haven't bought it yet either. Push your push your thing in the hole more. <laughs> That's okay. what she said. <laughs> Whatever. I got to pay me more for that. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Should I unplug we it? good now? No, we're good. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh man! Maybe it's just being temperamental right now. Just don't fuck with it too much, you know. Oh. Don't play with it too much and all that. I, I, play I only play with it twice a week, twice twice a day. So, <laughs> all right, cool. Um, oh, I love it here. Welcome to episode forty-two of Legit Heat. I'm your host, Jimmy Luca. <laughs> I am the Scotty Mac. Ah, uh, this is me, Yeri, with Kirby. Say hi to Kirby again. Um, two K. Let's talk about two well, K. So I didn't far, buy, I would like it so far. I didn't buy two K. This year, because I didn't play 2K last year, even though I bought like the special edition. Oh, did I didn't, you? I didn't finish 2K last year either. I'm not gonna lie. No, that's true. Oh, same. I mean, knowing me, but I'll this probably one's, cave. This one's been five, so you don't have it. Not yet. I you don't have it, it either. I might have what it. the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get this, this weekend. I'm don't only worry. Who can have a little review right now? Yes, actually, it's been pretty fire. Yeah, g- yeah. Give, See? Me, give me a review. My that's only complaint is that, like, why the fuck is the big dog Roman Reigns in it? Damn it. You gotta get every variation of the tribal Damn chief, I guess. Man. That's horrible. It Suffering is. succotash, bro. <laughs> oh man, that was terrible. That's that was Those bad. were some dark times. Hey man, do you want to explain yourself? Because we have the yeah, big dog right here. Yeah, talking to the mic. Nice too embarrassed. He's hiding behind the plant. He, he, he's too embarrassed. That's why he doesn't want to show yeah. his face. He's a bitch. <clears throat> so we had a little family outing um last week. We went to big business. I don't know why, but you know, we went and it was something to do. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good time. C-E-O, C-E-O, Oh, God. C-E-O. That song oh. does slap. It but really does. It's like, they. what do they have? What uh, AW's it in a weird place. It sounds kind of like DMD, though, it, doesn't it, it? it? A little bit. But then again, that's her actual title, though. It's like, no, Britt Baker's she a is, real live she's dentist. She's a real live dentist. Yeah, I know you're right. All right, I'm going to put you guys in the hot seat right now. Who's better between CEO and DMD? C E O because she's had a longer she's had a longer career pretty much yeah pretty much that's true plus yeah. one out of the two main event at a WrestleMania right so I exactly gotta give yeah props yeah to that. I mean I kind of favor DMD a little more I just yeah. I feel like she's more natural on the mic oh yeah no, and you gonna pull the racism card and the whole like you and Boo. your white girls card and all that other <laughs> shit and Boo. I'll, I'll take it he just give it, give it to me bro I don't give a fuck boo you know tell what? him Kirby tell him Boom. yeah. He, Said boo. What's wrong with you? Are you saying boo or burns? Boo. Boo. Okay. 
<laughs> AW's in a weird ass. How do how do we feel about big business? Like I I walked out of TD just automatically giving it a, a like a six out of ten. No, no, we we were walking together, and I gave it the same thing, oh, mostly because yeah. the fact that it's like it's how our buddy Gary was saying. Hi, Gary. Uh, okay. Man's literally was like, "Why did you put the best parts of the night literally at the very beginning of the show?" That's yeah. That's I felt like it started off hot, and then it kind of like. It never really took off the ground. Yeah, no, it just went whoo, skyrocket. And then next thing you know, uh, it's like in Iron Man 1 when um, Tony's first flying the armor. And then it's like, oh, I'm going into space. But. Oh, oh, fuck. And he's falls. It's like he doesn't really to take be it, fair, doesn't do the math. To be fair, though, it was Boston. So it was kind of like punk in Chicago when he came. When he came no, it, yeah. yeah. So they gave like, the same treatment. I understand. Yeah. I think that's AEW's niche is well, I think that they, they do the. Uh, big signing up first instead of making you wait, mm-hmm. which, is, which is cool. It's yeah, different, no. but I mean, it does kind of like set you up where the show will kind of peak thirty minutes in, you know, thirty minutes in or whatever it is. Um, and that's what I'm saying. I feel like just, this week's dynamite was way better. Yeah, no, the the whole thing is with that show where we went. I was just more of like that's that was my only gripe. About we it. went. We literally paid. I'll be open about it. I paid like 50 something a ticket. Yep. Mm-hmm. And right. And like you, you guys too, probably. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. And like, that's worth, I guess, seeing the start of Mercedes's career with AEW. But I just still don't know what the fuck is going on. Like in terms of how do I put this? Like, I feel like they have Will Ospreay, Mercedes Monet, Okada. And Okada are like three huge signings, mm-hmm. but it still feels like they're missing something. If anything, let me just ask you this, just because you mentioned that. What do you think they're missing? Yeah, because I feel like, I mean, if anything, like WWE kind of miss miss opportunity uh, as far as signing any free agents because they haven't signed anybody recently. Well, well, they're bef- good. I think yeah. I think both companies are good right now with who, sure. with who they have. I, I mean, oh no, I, yeah, hundred percent. I would argue maybe the three signings that AW has had has probably maybe put them on par. You with, think so? Maybe, In terms maybe. of talent or product? A, a talent, talent, as far as talent, okay. as far as talent. All right. Yeah, no, they still got to work on the product. A little right. Bit. The product. I think the we, product is getting and that, better, and that's what that's that's what's missing at the end of the day is like. And the AEW diehards, like not like people who listen to this regularly, know that we are the wrestling fans who are fans of all of it. Um, but the AEW diehards will be like, "Oh, we don't need fucking storyline or anything like that. We could just put matches together." Like, no, bro. Like, we need AEW was really popping when the booking was great and mm-hmm. when there was actually some type of there were some great storylines. Like, I'm sorry, and I don't. And AEW diehards are gonna hate when 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 I say this. And I don't know how you guys feel about this statement, but like when Cody was there, when MJF was there, it felt like there was at least some storyline behind these matches that were getting thrown together. Oh no, yeah, that's a fact. Especially when Cody's out here drawing at my heartstrings with the whole family talk, and then like back then when he called Jericho an entitled dick, like he completed the circle. He said dick, uh, balls, and asshole on on TV. Oh yeah, so he, he, he the, whole, the the trifecta. Yeah. yeah. Trifecta. <laughs> it's just he he completed it, but that's them. He completed we'll talk. that story before he completed the real story. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Wait, do you, before nice little nice little quick segue. Do you think Beyonce is gonna finish her story for him? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> that was horrible. How about fucking sexy red? Oh, oh Shawn Michaels. Michaels. Shawn Michaels. That is the greatest video I've ever seen. Pro- oh, protect sexy red at all costs. Yeah. Bow bow. bow. Yo, she was really like jamming to sexy. She was having boy. a good time. That's really me was. when I listen to sexy. That's what I'm saying, boy. yeah, she's, Actually, she's a fan. just in your car, just yeah. smoking a joint and <laughs> yeah. fucking jamming the sexy boy. That's right, sexy Shawn Michaels boy. and and yeah. and your boy toy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But but back to the topic <laughs> at hand. Yeah, like the question is like, what do you think yeah. that uh, that AEW is missing since you mentioned that? Just that, just st- like, bro, like. We just need some storylines behind these matches. We need a better product. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you're just like throwing throwing matches together and shit, it like don't get me wrong, the wrestling's gonna be great. Mm. I mean, I feel like I'd argue where like there are certain matches that don't need a story, like a Brian and a Osprey. 
Yeah. But, or like a Kenny and an Osprey. Because that happened know. back in 2021 when I went, or I think it was 2021 and 2022, the first Grand Slam. There right. wasn't really a story behind Kenny versus Brian. And right. I, that's the best match that I've seen live in my entire lifetime. And that I mean, says a lot. Maybe to be fair, I'll, I'll, I'll credit more. This is on Brian where like, he's kind of on this run where he's like, yeah, I'm just going to have fucking killer ass matches with people. I haven't had matches with in either 10 or 15 years or people I've never touched before. Yeah. Facts. So, I, I think know. he like MJF had the list. Cody had the list. Like they all had their like little fucking the, the picture with the mm-hmm. list of people they want. Mm-hmm. Brian Danielson is the guy who like, he, He's got a spreadsheet. Yeah, he yeah. he has an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> listing out who the hell he's going to face between now and the end of the year, yeah. so he can comply with his uh oh, with his, his quota yeah. with his wife because his wife is kind of like I think it was his Cut kid that shit. I think it was his kid that that convinced him to, st- to retire in a year. Oh no, I think his wife kind of talked to them and be like, so? "Tell daddy yeah. to stop <laughs> wrestling full time." Full time. Full, full time. Full time. Yeah. You guys think he's gonna be an AW? Like he he already has like his contract has been has been extended and he's part of like the disciplinary committee and all that. Mm-hmm. But do you think he's real deal in AEW for life, or do you think that this is somebody else that sooner or later will get tired of whatever the fuck goes on over there? Uh, I mean, I don't. It seems like he's. I mean, this is from you know an outside perspective, but like it just seems like he's having a better time as far as like at least wrestling wise. Yeah, yeah. Like he like, and he's getting to do what he wants. He's mm-hmm. not. He doesn't have to do anything silly. Like, you know, like like he's kind of a, abandoned the yes thing, even though I know he couldn't really do it. I mean, he technically still could have done. He the, did. He, he when did he do it? He, he, he does it. He does it in like like very rare moments, mm-hmm. or like moments that are like 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 hey, I need like support or something, you know, from yep. the crowd. Yep. Um, and it's like they can't really stop him either. So. No, that's true. They can't stop him from pointing up. No, yes, yes. But um, yeah, um, I, 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 but I, I think that with the because uh, I think they hired an, a bunch of ex WWE like production people. So you hopefully, think so? I they? think they did. I think I heard, I I, I could have sworn they recently uh, hired somebody. I forgot what it was, but interesting. Yeah. Damn, they're going out to talent and producers. <laughs> It's and what's crazy, funny is uh, I remember watching recently this uh, clip of Tony Khan talking about WCW and what their problem was, and it was you know spending all this money on free agents, and it's like, bro, yep, bro, <laughs> you're doing you're doing you're the doing thing. the same thing, you're doing the fucking Tony. same thing, TK, the same exact thing. Yeah, <laughs> AW show seemed like it was a little bit better than last week's. Mm-hmm. I <clears throat> I caught. Like some highlights from the Edge versus Christian match, which looked phenomenal. Oh, that but, was fun. That was a lot of fun. But like Edge winning the TNT title, the the confetti after and everything, they made it seem like it was fucking Eddie winning the win, winning the oh, championship. The at the, title, the, yeah. the, or I mean, Benoit winning. I mean, the it wasn't ter- what is it? It wasn't in Toronto. It was, it was in Toronto. It was I in guess. Toronto. Yeah. It was a hometown like, bro, thing. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, my favorite part was when. They're they're both in the uh, in the penalty box, and then uh, <laughs> Edge puts a fucking Bruins jersey on Christian, and then he wears the the Maple Leafs, and then they just go at it. I'm like, uh, this that is was peak. great that was match, yeah. but yeah. like, peak. I'm not calling him Adam Copeland. I'm fucking sorry. I'm, I, I'm know, I, I You you heard me call him Edge. Yeah, you I are know. Edge. Yeah, Taz not Adam. Adam. I mean, Adam's I your government, but you're Edge. Adult. I'm an adult. I'm a grown, a fully grown adult. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to call him Edge. <laughs> yup. <Yeah. So laughs> Tell him, Kirby. <laughs> I'm going to call that yeah. Edge. Yo, I don't give a fuck. What the fuck is a TNT championship doing for Edge right now? I mean, what um, was it doing for Christian? I feel like he elevated it. He really kind of made it. Put the rated R on it then. Ooh, okay, maybe. Imagine. The T- put the TNT on it somewhere small. Small. <laughs> <laughs> do it like a tiny, like very tiny do font. Do like a tiny little TNT. Do it like that. You know what I mean? Tiny <laughs> little font. It's like right a there. tiny little TNT and just put the fucking rated R back on there. Make That's it spinner. It. You really oh want to. Oh, my God. He really said put the spinner on it. Yo, the rated R spinner belt is one of the greatest belts of all time. Nah, nah. I don't make the rules. Nah, I don't, I don't make what? the rules. I just enforce that, them. That shit was just nasty, bro. He didn't have to he do that. He was nasty. He had a live sex celebration on Monday Night Raw, bro. And yeah. then he got dumped into the my Long mom, Island Sound. My mom told me I couldn't watch wrestling for two months. Still Because did. of that? <laughs> Still did. Still did that shit. Still did. Damn. Did she whoop your ass? I never got caught. 
Oh, there you go. All right. I did not get caught the whole <laughs> time. Look at him. And at the look end of two him. months, I am like, I was so, y'all was so good. I was <laughs> so good. At the end of it, like, <laughs> at the end of it, I was like, I missed this and I missed that and I missed that. I was all mopey about it. I fucking watched I fucking watched that shit. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Come on, bro. Unbelievable. But yeah, no. Should have took the TV out of the room. But there was no <laughs> sex celebrations after mom. If you're sure, watching that was, this, that was the one and only one. That was the so. one and done. Yeah, because I'm sure every mom fucking called and oh. bitched and complained. They got oh, phone oh, calls no. about that. I, 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 tell you that. I watched it. I was just like, "What's going on?" Because I didn't really, calls. I didn't really have anything. I tried to in. tell her, bro. Like John Cena came out before anything even happened. Dead like, ass. He came he out fucking, and beat Edge's ass in yeah, his fucking Yeah, like nothing briefs. even went down. Like John Cena came out and cut her off. Like he was the cock block. Like nothing happened. Also, let's remember we lived through an era where Val Venus was employed by WWE. And he got his dick chopped off that You know what time. really pissed me off? Because my mom would watch it with me. Like she would really, wa- my mom would really watch w- with me. Shout out to my mom. Because she knew Shout that I was like, mom. this was also Shout while I was like oh, fucking yeah. experimenting with it and shit. Yeah. Yo, she never got mad at Viscera. Fucking dry humping motherfuckers to death. I remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah, Big Big Daddy V. Oh hell no. But you were gonna you like you didn't get mad at that, but you got mad at the fucking the the straight uh sex celebration though. That that's why I brought up the Val Venus thing too. It's like Val Venus is coming out a whole fucking towel, basically in a fucking speedo, letting women grope him before he got to the ring. His gimmick was a porn star. Yeah. Basically, and I'm just there like where does R.I.P. Viscera though. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, man. Big, yeah, big, big, Peter big Daddy G. V, baby. Yeah. Even though fuck Velvinus, he is now some lunatic like conspiracy guy. Really? Oh, so he's like yeah. uh, the uh, Jesse the Body Ventura. No, bullshit? Body Body has a little sense to him. I think. Does he really? He sounds I mean, very Republican-y. Uh, yeah, he might. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Uh, anyway. I digress, though. Yeah, yeah, I digress. Yeah. Very good times though, like when when he mentioned the whole like edge and that, but. No, don't do the spinner belt. I still stand on business on that one. That was nasty. I'm sorry. Well, how do you feel about the rated R spinner belt? I think it's fine. I like the spinner it belt. It was fire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, y'all can stand on that bridge. Right is there. it is it me, bad that I'm Kirby kind of here. is it bad that I'm kind of like That's I kind of debated want. getting the spit the <laughs> WWE spinner belt? I would no, I because I I almost uh, there was a period of on that on that Goodwill website I tell you about there was like a week or two where there was like a like a decent like looking one for like a hundred bucks and I missed out on it because I. Didn't fucking pull the trigger, but it's got that one's got to go in. If you're if you're collecting belts, which I'm about to start doing, that could easily go for at least five. Because six, full like 100. disclosure, yeah. if you have like, especially if you have good credit, they got a little thing for wrestling fans called <laughs> fucking what is it? Zip pay, zip Klarna pay, after Klarna. pay. Run pay, that bitch for. up. Run that bitch up. Run that bitch up. <laughs> the first one of the fr- if they have the rated, up, they won't have it on there now because Edge no, just, probably not. I just Adam Copeland. Now. No, no, I th- uh, try. You, you you never know. No, nah, I I've, I've been scanning. Trust me, bro. They yeah. don't got it. All right, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Get, just get the just get the spinner belt. Just get the regular spinner belt. Yeah. You can be John Cena. I'll slap. I'll slap the fuck. I'll slap a paper rated R on that bitch, and then Yeri can go. call it nasty. Yeah, I'm um, looking like. Oh. Did you guys see what LA Knight said? I actually saved that earlier. Did you see what LA Knight said about The Rock? Uh, briefly, but uh, re- same. Give me, a, give me a reminder. Wasn't oh it something about like Scotty. he uh, that he didn't that business is all good, like all good or something? Got you right now. Um, this was from Fightful. Uh oh. No, it was on Busted Open. He said it on okay, Busted okay. Open. Yeah. So. Say. Fightful probably tried LA to- Knight says wrestling was cool again six or seven months ago before The Rock came back. And he said, and I quote, I hear him say wrestling is cool again, and he's right, but I want to make sure everybody knows it started getting cool again six or seven months before he got there. I'm not saying he can't add to that cool factor that he won't. I'm just saying wrestling is cool again, and wrestling was cool again before he came back. Makes a point. I uh, think we all can agree on that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He 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 told the what? Hold on. Because the only thing that Dwayne did was just come back with an attitude, bring back Versace shirts. Sure. Um, like he fucking, isn't bringing back his consistent sunglass wear, but that's about it. But I think that, it's like, I think it's I think it's like so. I a hundred percent agree with La Knight. Like wrestling was cool again. I think he hit it right on the right on the head, like math mathematically. And Scotty can check this because I know that he's very like on point with the facts. He's who we rely on for that. 
Uh-oh. But what do you have? What are you gonna play? Uh, so my reaction to LA Knight is is this. And I mean, <laughs> dog God. Folks, where's the lie? This fucking guy. every time I, <laughs> he, he was right with that one, but at the same time, it's like every time I, I hear that through a wall. Dude. Oh man! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Every time I hear that, I'm like, Bobby Fish should not be doing that. But oh, that's yeah. that's a little side quest. We're not going there. No, so mathematically, but, 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 but it's true. He is he's 100 right because he's pretty on point. Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent Yeah, like because the Rock kind of did had not not I mean. Not that he hitches a wagon to it, but he kind of hopped in when it was hot. Yeah, the I've been telling people this like all fucking like since the Rock has come back, like kind of full time, which is crazy to say. Yeah, the yeah. Rock hopped on the bandwagon. He did. Like wrestling has been hot for like LA Knight said six or seven months, and the Rock said, "You know what? I'm a hop on whatever. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Hollywood, but I'm." And don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. I'm not a hater of the Rock at all. We love the Rock. But he did hop on it while it was hot. But he, I am also going to say that he is adding to it because what I think he's helping um, happen is, and I could be jumping the gun here, I think he's restoring the feeling. And I don't know how you guys feel about this statement. I could be jumping the gun. But I think we might be getting a glimpse of this TV 14 era that we might be entering with the Netflix deal. So, oh, oh mm. yeah, that's not a good one. Holy shit. When you put that out there, that. that makes a valid point for sure huh. because there's no necessary limits when it comes to Netflix unless they, you're they, on like a they, child profile. They but no. cuss. There's no, yeah, they cuss. We, we they cuss. cuss. They We're going cuss. back to cussing. There might I'm be some fucking on there. So, oh, like, God. if now, 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 Jesus Christ. And who interrupts it? <laughs> Otis. No, Otis. Dominic and Rhea Ripley have the live fucking. Oh, no. Wait, you want to know who interrupts for real? Our truth. Uh, oh, he's like, uh, he's going to walk and be, be like, hilarious. oh, damn. And he's going to be like, remake, my bad. Yeah. If, if, my you're, bad. if you're bringing TV 14 back on Netflix, remake the yeah. live sex celebration. Fucking do it. Dom and Rhea interrupted by our truth. Book it. You're going to come in there and be like, hilarious. my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Then Finn and um, oh. Priest are going to come in and start beating his ass and be like, what the hell? And then they're going to be like, oh, doing? shit, we shouldn't have seen anything. <laughs> Good grief. Yo. Oh, oh but, man. But, but speaking of that, allegedly oh. some people work, uh, talent was getting mad about Rock being dropping F-bombs on social media because they can't do it. But he could do it. He's the, bo- he, yo, this is, but this is what I love about the, like, final boss Fair. I love everything about this shit. Yeah. Like if wrestlers are mad, fucking tough shit. But the thing is, like Cody dropped. Cody's been Cody pushed Cody's it a been, little bit yeah. on Raw last Monday. He did? He yeah, no, because then he had to come. They had to be like, um, he cussed. Let's let someone else do Didn't it he too. Cuss? He Cody called him. He said asshole. He called him an asshole. Asshole. No, and little dick syndrome. A little dick syndrome. Yeah. He, he yep. cussed. He cussed. Oh, he definitely cussed. He would, Yo, he would, if it was he the nineties, he would have got some soap in his mouth for that mouth. When wrestling, what, this is the thing. When you when wrestling fans WWE fans hear cussing, we we immediately have an erection because we're like, yeah, yo, that thing we loved in the nineties just... is coming back. Restore the feeling. Restore and the, the rocket. That's feeling. what I was saying. Like I agree with LA Knight, but at the same time, bro, the Rock is helping restore the feeling. Not uh, yeah, I'm not gonna disagree. What are you doing? Wait, now, what are Scott? you doing? Whoops. Oh God! Hold on. Oh God. Oh <laughs> God. Get out. Guy. Get out. He needs to leave. Yeah, you gotta go. Get the f- go. <laughs> There's the door. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? Hell no. I have seniority. He does have seniority. I have seniority, bitch. That. But like how much? A uh, 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 couple years. He goes back to like 2015. Uh, you know what? From handshake. Before we were little legi- before <laughs> we were in the heat, actually. You know what? It, I'm, I'm gonna be like our truth. That's my bad. My bad. <laughs> Where the fuck are these notes? Why did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, why oh. did you say that? What the That's fuck? Fine. You can edit it out. Fuck editing it out. <laughs> oh I'm my god. I'm very, very open. Um, let's talk about that promo. Actually, which one? What's happening on Friday? One. What are your oh. predictions for Friday? They're both. The feeling that I got from Monday that was so dope, and this is why, like, WWE television has, like, excelled so good at, at like, the storylines and, like, 
making it feel like you're watching a, a TV show aside from sports yeah. Yeah. is that whole exchange between him and Paul of like, Roman's going to show up alone as long as you show up alone. It kind of reminded me of like um, any meeting in any fucking TV show ever between the protagonist and the antagonist, like The Walking Dead, when Rick and fucking the governor was supposed to meet up Dolo, but they both showed up with their people. Yep. Yeah. That's what I see happening on Friday. Oh, 100%. Oh, oh yeah, no. Yeah. You, th- you, you th- No, they're definitely not showing blown, especially like Roman and shit. It's like, wait, is The Rock supposed to be there too on Friday or yeah, no? Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. They're, they're both he, supposed he, to show up alone. He's supposed to be on the April 1st one, which is the one before Brooklyn, Mania. Brooklyn, yeah, but that's in like two weeks. That's in like two weeks, yeah. yeah. So, um, so but, yeah. But, but in terms of like the promo, I felt like, just like we kind of segued into it, like in terms of like the whole PG-14 bullshit, whatever, it's... It was good. It was a great promo in a sense. It added to the whole element of just, oh, we're taking these light jabs at each other's families. Like, oh, he mentioned my mom. Now I'm mentioning his mom. All that other stuff. It really nailed to the point. And it also, quote unquote, kind of reminiscent of when he was in that AEW World Championship feud with Chris Jericho. And he went on that nice emotional promo, which I felt like was a little bit better than this one. Just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Um, it was basically the WWE version of that because I was just like, he's in a world championship predicament now. Look at who he's facing and who is beside him. And it's kind of like, yeah, the rock is kind of being a dick. Chris Jericho's being a dick back then too. It's like it's reminiscent of that. It's giving me those feelings. Yeah. Do you think that there's, there's going to be an angle, an actual angle to this, like Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes thing that they keep like hinting at? I mean, I just think he might be building the Avengers to, to take off, to take over, or to take, go against God, uh, the bloodline. Um, but I, I, they, I feel like they are hinting at something. I just don't know. Well, that for night two, I believe in. I already told you. Like, right. I don't know if we talked about it on the last episode. But I know we've talked about it like in group chats and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm a firm believer in like Stone Cold showing up, like <sighs> Cena showing up, like some crazy shit. That is some shit. Pretty much. Just fucking shit. overload. The, it's WrestleMania 40, goddamn it. Yeah, like, that, that's the thing. Overload the it's, fuck out of this main event. I mean, 30 was the last time where like, they really kind of went hard like that. You know, they opened up with Rock, Austin, and Hogan. You know, yeah. so like, bro. Like, it'd be funny if we get that, you know, that occasional video of a uh, Stone Cold and The Rock that we see on the internet with Limp Biscuit playing in the background. Oh, my God. Imagine my seeing way. that the all over. Yeah, I was seeing that hype, all over again. The best hype video of, of, all, time. of all time. Of They're going to circle each other like sharks if that were to happen. The best hype video in all of sports. And I've seen some fire Yankee videos. I've seen some it's Celtics up. have had some great ones. Bro, True. my way, Rock and Austin. That's how you set up a few. That, oof. Just yeah. kiss. God. God damn it. If you're going to R- WrestleMania 40, overload it. Have Cody and Seth take the L on night one. Have Cody look like he's backed into an absolute corner by the entire family on night two just for The Rock's former enemies to come out. The Rock, Cena, fucking. Do we. Bro, bring out fucking. <laughs> Taker, like just do, fucking no, go okay. crazy. Stop, stop with Taker. Come oh, on. do we? Do you think that Seth will somewhat cost Brody, Cody? That's what I was saying. Like they keep hinting at some. Oh, like can you really trust Seth Rollins? Yeah. Like what are they doing? Well, no. Here's my thing in terms he, of how this can play out. In terms that would of be long fire, term. but it, it would make. I don't want Seth. I want I, Seth needs to be the baby face because Drew McIntyre is such a great. Hero. That's that no, is true. Yeah. No. Yeah. And he's going to remain that. But here's where I think it kind of leads into somewhere down the road. It's like, oh, we're, we already kind of feel like Seth will lose the title to Drew. And then next, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I don't have the title anymore, but I helped him out. So maybe he kind of owes me one. And then it kind of leads into a match for for the W. Yeah, the WB, d- d- depending title. on that. And it's kind of like, oh, but Seth still has the angle of like, oh, I haven't been able to beat you since you came back. Mm-hmm. I kind of need to scratch that itch. Mm-hmm. And especially for a title now, it's like, yeah, what better way? Kind of like see who really is the best out of the both and of us. Cody beat him three times. So there is a reason a reason there for, for Seth to kind of. No. But I do. I, I hope it. I honestly hope it leads to nothing. I hope that they, yeah. they, they're locked in because I need to see Seth Rollins, and I thought about this earlier, and I said <laughs> it to you guys. Yep. 
if Seth Rollins curb stomps The Rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's going to shoot up the club. I will explode. He's going to shoot up the club. I will need a change of pants. <laughs> he's going to need a change yeah. of pants. I will <laughs> chug fucking. How many beers are we chugging if this happens? Uh, like back to back. Two. What, two? Three. I'm down for two. Maybe, Maybe uh, three. I, I, three. I'll bring, a mo- a I'll bring Modelo's. A I'll bring Modelo's and we'll chug that. Cause, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Scotty's fucking unhinged. What is wrong with you today? today or What's wrong with him all? every day? Yeah, I exactly. think he has his mask on at all hours of the day with what this guy says sometimes. He's like mankind. Have a nice day. Yeah, low key. Have a nice um, day. What what's the what's the wild predictions for who comes out for night two though? So do we so we're all in agreement that they lose the match night one. Yep. I, I think you're I feel like wrestling for fan. shenanigans to happen and for Cody to to win, yeah, you have not yeah. that not that he'll beat Roman, not that he can't beat Roman clean, but like, uh, I mean, he will beat him. I think he will be clean, and he should. I like, think it'll be clean in a sense, like. These guys that we're mentioning will just come through and just get the bloodline out of there. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. it's Cody versus One on one. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yep. yep. And I feel like this is how it's going to end up happening. I feel like you'll get that curb stomp. You'll definitely you see might, a I curb hope stomp. I you do. might get. I will, but you, you want to know what happens immediately right after that? Spear. And that's how the match ends. Because it's not Cody who's going to take the pin. It's going to end up being Seth. Yeah. It's probably going to be Rollins taking that L. And it's going to be like another. K- oh, actually, no. I think that'll also scratch the itch for Roman because Roman has never been able to le- legit pin Seth. Like, one, two, three. It's always been Seth pinning Roman for yeah, something, true. for some yeah, reason. Right. So it's like, wow, double whammy right there. Well, not the, the other whammy is not going to happen anytime soon, but yeah, we'll see. Is The Rock staying after WrestleMania? No. No, no. That man people, has. people keep like fantasy booking shit after Mania for The Rock, and I see That's it a lot. Silly. I, I, I need that people is, to pay attention. That man schedules the following: one, he has his spring um, UFL league starting up in what two weeks? That's one. Two, he, he has three movies back to back to back from May first to like September. He is oh, filming solid, Mo, the live action Moana. Moana, Moana two. He's turns of voicing, and he's also doing that A uh, twenty four movie. Wait, they're doing the live huh? action Moana. Yeah, he, yeah, he's doing an A twenty four movie. He's bro. doing an A twenty four movie. Yeah, The Rock. Yeah, the guy who plays the same guy in every movie. Bro, it's it's official. He's doing it like an MMA movie that oh, might actually get him an Oscar. I, I heard about he's that. He's heard. Yeah. He, he's, Dave Batista talk a lot of shit in terms say. of him not actually doing real acting. Rock might win an Oscar Wait, this year. Hold on to that. Batista talks shit about The Rock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. as he should, because yeah, Batista's no. the best wrestler turned action. So that's what yeah, I'm saying. Ahead. It's like, Batista what might actually got? win an Oscar before. Oh, yeah, no, but that's already uh, done. That that That's his garbage movie? It sounds oh, like no. a Rocky movie. It does sound yeah, no, like that's yeah. a garbage movie yeah. that's coming out later this year, but he's still filming an, an A24 movie this summer. So, yeah, that'll be like his... Magnum opus of sense, where he might get an Oscar nom. I'm not. I come off like a rock hater when I come when it comes to like me talking about his movies, but I'm not. It's just he's the same guy in every movie. And if yeah. but if Dave Batista is talking shit about the Rock acting, that's the guy who should be because that's the so best wrestler turned actor, and I have time to argue. Oh no, yeah, I come. <laughs> I a thousand percent agree, and that's why I'm saying Dave will get an Oscar nomination before Dwayne. Oh yeah. yeah. However. Dwayne is finally seeing that if he wants to actually be taken seriously as an actor, actor, then he needs to do movies that are not like box office, like blockbusters and shit. Yeah. Right. It's like he needs yeah. to do those serious think pieces that'll actually make you cry and shit. You probably watched the Iron Claw and was kind of like, I can do this shit. Probably. But it's I, like, I mean, yeah. D- Batista was in that cabin in the woods and that was scary as fuck. I was just going to say he like that good. movie, oh, yeah. that movie was like, Probably one of the weaker M Night movies, but yeah. Dave shined. He like did. he, he did was well. just like, yeah. what yo? Like it's fucking crazy. He has some. He's shown some range in just like a few movies. Mind you, crazy. you've watched him in both Dune films. Yeah, true. Yeah, bro. He's just <laughs> he's intense. He's but, an intense actor. Oh yeah, but just overall in terms of like, oh, what's the schedule like? It's like I don't think he. I think this is um his uh. His way of just helping push his family, and then he's gonna go back to doing his thing because he has a full schedule for the next couple of months. Probably. So it's like, I do think I could be wrong. 
I do think we get one more Dwayne match after Mania. SummerSlam. Maybe. Oh yeah, I can I can see something like that. So, but so, he's, he's I do taking think time that, off. Though. I do think that the people are owed Roman versus The Rock. Yes. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I still want to see it. No, no, I'm, yeah. I, I'm I'm cool with that. And I was all for like, yo, the the stuff that's happened with wrestling in the last couple months has been beautiful. Like the fans, WWE thought, and it's so hard to book wrestling, right? Because mm-hmm. you you yeah. book things in a sense that like. You're assuming what people want to see. Right. So they booked, they had The Rock versus Roman locked in, and then wrestling fans came together and was like, fuck, fuck you. Yeah. Go yeah. fuck yourself. We want this. Yep. Pretty much. Now they're finessing it in their own way, and it's become something even greater than what they had. But I still want to see Roman versus The Rock. Though I will say the fact that. Just not at Mania, but down the line. Oh, yeah, no. And I don't know, since we didn't get tickets to Mania. Y'all I would go to, to Cleveland. Hell yeah, I'll go to Cleveland. Let's go to Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland this, rocks. Cleveland rocks. Right, right, put no. put, put that hand down. It's, it still stinks, but we're going there. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Cleveland! Um, I, 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 I need to buy say, a Cleveland Indians hat, not a Cleveland Guardians hat. I need a Cleveland Indians fitted. That's racist. It's not racist. Racism. No, it's that's not. Racism. That's like Brock Lesnar type. No, okay, time the fuck out. <laughs> no. That's like that's Brock gear. beating Col- Kofi Kingston. <laughs> It is. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? Still give me the Indians hat. Famous it. lines. I don't make the rules. <laughs> yeah, still give me the Indians hat. Fuck it. <laughs> it looks a lot better than whatever the fuck they're wearing now. But yeah, no, Cleveland, SummerSlam. Let's fucking go. Let's Hold go. on. What's up with the rump? I'm down for that. One, th- what is there to do in Cleveland, by the way? Because I try to just, with well, the thing with it that Baseball I do. Baseball Hall of Fame? Huh? No, no, no. That's in, that's in uh, Cooperstown. Oh, Cooperstown. That's in Sorry. basically New York. Oh, yeah. uh, upstate New York. Yeah, yeah. Trash. Um, Football Hall of Fame. Hey. Football. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, that's Canton, yeah. Canton. Uh, we'll whatever, we'll just go for SummerSlam. It's fine. Yeah. We'll make a whole weekend out of it. NXT, probably SmackDown, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and maybe we can catch a, a Guardians game. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you never know. Maybe they'll play the Yankees that day. Mm. Or the, the one of those days. You got me. <laughs> you got me there. We got to take the schedule. We'll check the schedule later. <laughs> Look at us just making plans like a family. <laughs> what? The Rock versus Rome. What the fuck is going on? You're just mad because you're not on the podcast. We're such a blended family. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! Big chunky hunk of fucking uncharismatic meat. (laughs) You're uninteresting. Get the fuck. Get the see that? (laughs) Fuck him! Yeah, (laughs) yeeted him, (laughs) bitch. Across the fucking studio. If you didn't hear that, Kirby said yeet. I did, yeah, I did say yeah. Kirby did say yeet, but yeah. He said yeet. I heard yeah. him. He said yeet. He said yeet. See? That was him. Yeah. Roman yeet. had to go get sick and come back and be better. <laughs> <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll take it back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? I've <laughs> always loved Roman, though. Don't get no, it cool. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. When he came out and said he had leukemia, I was like, damn, yeah, man, that was some dog, shit. Fuck. Yeah, All of wrestling fans were like. We're fucked up. We're a bunch of dicks. Like, this man might have been bad on the mic because he's been going through some shit. <laughs> yeah. Nah. And, and here we are just nah. ripping him a new asshole on the, on the he, internet. He needed, he needed to go away to get new teeth and uh, go back to promo class. Yeah. Because it, it wasn't cutting it. It's yeah. crazy. What's with the... I feel like we covered almost everything, but I forgot yeah. one thing. What's with the rumblings of Brock coming back? Oh, because he showed up back on the uh, the roster online roster page. Yeah, Raquel know, got man. pulled, but Brock got put back on. Raquel got pulled. I oh. mean, yeah, because she's going through treatment for whatever got, yeah, disease she's got she has. Some weird oh, okay. skin thing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's been like out of control for her. She's been trying yeah, so hard, and it's just her. like yeah. it sucks. Yeah. But yeah, no, she got some some, some weird, weird condition. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. Get, what it get is. well soon though. For real. how do yeah, they for, finesse yeah, Brock coming back after like? I don't know how you do that though. Maybe they're looking at the fact that Jericho's still <laughs> yeah, probably. just casually wrestling full-time in AEW. Probably. Probably, yeah. Because the details on the Brock situation, I think you read, maybe both you guys read it, but I feel like Scotty was the one who kind of like broke it down. Like, is is it like really, like it's it's Brock. It's Brock. The details scream Brock Lesnar. Yeah. It, it's From what I heard, there was rumblings of, uh, people saying that there was talks of bringing him back in. Yeah. In what capacity? I 
could tell you. But I'm saying like when it came to the details, because it was like there wasn't it was an unnamed person, but the oh, description right, was right. Brock Lesnar. It was yeah, they descri- it was a very depictive description of Brock, but they never actually They mentioned said. like UFC fighter yeah, and all UFC that other fighter, shit. Yeah. yeah, just blame yeah. Ronda and bring yeah. Brock back. It's yeah, funny. fuck Ronda. Yeah, no, fuck Ronda. Fuck you, Ronda. She that that's what we should leave off. Also, on. fuck you, Top Dollar. Yeah, fuck Top Dollar too for commenting on my fucking Instagram post like a little bitch. Oh. <laughs> He's a herb. Um <laughs> <laughs> she really like sounded like the saltiest like she left she didn't get fired right no, she left yeah no yeah, she yeah. definitely left. so what are you mad about probably because she wasn't as popular as she thought she thought she would be yeah i, I feel like if they brought her in when she had that match with stephanie and triple h and the rock maybe they couldn't start a chance but she just had zero or shit personality is really Bro, she was. had like two or three tries she did she, you know what? As, the only reason she was on the main roster is because of her name. That's it. If, yeah. if it, honestly, she should have went through NXT. She should have. She might have been. Better. She might have had a better. She chance. She might have a better shot. She would have had like an Oscar. Undefeated. And now what you're doing, yeah, right what you're now. doing, which is what you should never do in life, unless it's a. I, I've done it a lots of jobs, but it's jobs that have deserved it. Exactly. Um, is dip. You don't fucking like burn the bridge like that. And you can't say, I think someone said it earlier in the group chat, like, never say never. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like, bro, Shawn Michaels is running NXT. Yeah. Don't burn that bridge. You saw that video I sent in the group chat. You saw how messed up he he sounded. Shawn? Yeah. Did did you watch that? No. No, I didn't watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. It was was a promo between uh, uh, Stone Cold. uh, Oh, yep, 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 yep. yep, uh, Him and back in the day. And you could just tell he was all sorts of, like, fucked up. Yeah? Yeah. But even so, I was like, no, she's never coming back. I don't really think she should come Bye. back. Bye. I, I hope the door is. doesn't hit you on the way on the ass on the way out. I, no, I probably did. Come on. It's been a I while. I hope it did. But, yeah, no. Definitely fuck her. I don't care. <laughs> fuck that hoe. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> um, It's going to be Friday when this episode drops. What are your, like, it's Friday. outlandish predictions for SmackDown? Because we always have. It's Friday again. Friday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. <laughs> no, like. <laughs> Uh, pre- Ugh, man. What are we supposed to get tomorrow? Is it supposed to be? Co- is, is it's supposed to just be Cody and Roman. That's it. Mm. We're not getting that. that. It's. Th- is, I mean, I don't know if Rock will be. Uh, who knows? I don't think he we will. Know Solo will be are there. We going to love you better with Seth and Seth? Oh, yeah. Fuck. I mean, it'll be over by the time we get there. Okay. That's true. Actually, you yeah. can have both. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, we, we, no los dos. <laughs> We we're gonna have both. <laughs> we can have our cake and eat it too. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Or I'll just stream it at the bar. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, fuck Which, it. I mean, it'll be over by the time. Somebody looks over and be like, what, nigga? It's WrestleMania season. You didn't hear <laughs> bro, bro, I remember watching, I think it was Extreme Rules, uh the where where Bray, R. I. P. Bray. I was watching it at a hookah lounge. <laughs> I, I went to a hookah lounge and I was finishing that up because I'm like, I'm not missing this shit. What the fuck? When he came back? Yeah. Yeah. On SmackDown. No, no. That, that extreme rules. The extreme rule. rules. Yeah, that oh, pay-per-view. That, I was like, at a hookah pay- lounge, bro. That was when he came back. Why were you whole... at a hookah lounge? Because it was late at night. Yeah, but, but there was a there was a PLE on. I still finished it. What the fuck? All right, whatever. Yeah. He still That's finished fair. it. He still finished the story. I had That's my cake fair. and ate it too. Sometimes it happens. Pretty much. <laughs> That Braid documentary, though, I can't wait oh, for can't it. Wait I'm going to cry like April a bitch. 1st, baby? Hell yeah. And so many tears. Yeah. I showed, oh my God, my fucking Alexandria brush. So the commercial came on, and I'm like, Alexandria, look. And she looks at me. She's like, Dad. And her eyes all get oh. all watery. Oh, oh what's, oh, what's wrong with you? Cry even more, bro. I remember, I remember you telling me how a big a fan she was, and like, it broke she, her heart. Bro, that was her first wrestling figure. Yeah. Oh, was was, uh, was Bray Wyatt. She Man. fucking loved that dude. Like, before he would. She actually, I showed her videos of him. Like, I, I think I was watching, like, videos of him when he was coming, like, before he was coming back, just, yeah, like, yeah. highlights and stuff. And, like, she just fucking, Lost like, it. loved loved okay. it even more. She just, like, was drawn to the figure before she even uh, saw any, like, so videos he, or anything. Right, yeah, yeah, And then yeah. when she saw the video, she was even, she was drawn she was to it even more. Right. Um, Undertaker's supposed to narrate that? Or uh, is it Bo Dallas? Or is it's, it? It's it's Undertaker. It's Taker, from yeah. I yeah. thought it was Bo Dallas. I think he did the intro, but I think okay. the, the the overall uh, voice might be Taker. Yeah. I take back part of what I said about 2K. I love the fact that there's so many different versions of Bray in that game. That's yeah. There are a lot. Fire. 
Um, it's a friend. But. <laughs> 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 well, this is where we cap off. Um, yeah, yeah, we were, we were losing steam. It's yeah, right. it's time to go. <laughs> um, WrestleMania secret studio WrestleMania party yes. plans will be unveiled very soon. We're gonna go is, talk about those. Yeah, we're gonna go talk about those. It's gonna be invite only. Otto might stand in a corner, and he's gonna he's say, "Hey, you gotta pay uh, fifteen to get in. Fifteen to get in." What was exactly. that? Exactly. <laughs> Whoa! Come say that in the microphone, actually. Come say that. <laughs> no. God damn it! Fuck! I never. I can fuck? never get people in trouble successfully. Oh, this is this is, this is unbelievable. <laughs> we are so <laughs> unserious here. <laughs> Where's my buddy? No, no. Otto's gonna be standing at the door like the gross sisters in the proud family. <laughs> Give, Give me that 15, bitch. <laughs> you got change? No. Well, doors that way. All right. If we <laughs> learned anything from this week's episode, um, it's free Vince McMahon. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Uh, free Brock Lesnar. I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. I'll take that. Free Brock. Take that. I mean, yeah. Freak Brock. Free Brock. Oh, freak I'm, Brock! What no, the freak fuck Brock kind of time is freak Brock is the one in the. I mean, uh, not not you. He's a freak. Freak Brock is the one is oh, he's the one in, yeah, in the allegations. Oh, me? No, no, no! I oh, said right Brock. Is. You're a freak. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Nine yo. days out of week. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, free Brock. Fuck Ronda Rousey and fuck Ronda uh, Rousey. Fuck Hulk yeah. Hogan. Fuck Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Always yeah. fuck Hulk Hogan. Later, Gators. What if Hulk? Oh. Hulk hold on. Oh my God. Hold on. What if Hulk Hogan helps Cody Rhodes? Oh no. That I'm I'm, I'm on record that will end racism. That, no, it will not. That was no, a whole it will civil not. War. Yes, it will. No. Cause he's helping Cody, but then on the other end, he's making Roman, who's also black. Lose. So that's also kind of racist. It's I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You so many no. forty is gonna go crazy though. It, it definitely yeah, is, but you weren't is. you weren't spinning on that one. You weren't cooking on that no, last that was, part, man. I'm sorry. sorry. I was cooking a little bit. It's like a little bit of an inception of of like it's like it's like racist, but not racist. Oh, so the it's the time. kick that brings us back into reality. Okay. Yeah. So like you, cu- he comes out and you're like, yo, he's helping Cody. So like it's it's ending racism, but at the same time, he's <laughs> starting like, it right back up. He's like, yo, you're not gonna fucking break my record, Roman. Yeah, yeah. You you know what, <laughs> brother? Is he gonna call Roman the N word? The middle of the know. ring? Nah, nah, nah. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this has been legit. He, we're on serious people here, but we still have. We're fun. all on serious uh, people. Yeah, the road to WrestleMania continues, baby. He's there, Lady Gators. I know. <laughs> <laughs>